So I made a video about a week ago talking smack on SAO, and except for one kid who probably sits alone during lunch wearing his Kirito t-shirt that his mom bought for him at Hot Topic, everybody was pretty into it. Now, I don't want to make these Ouija Talks things exclusively about anime, but with that being said, let's talk about some more anime, shall we? This video is probably going to be a lot shorter than the first one, and that's mainly because the show that I'll be talking about today only has two episodes at the time of me making this video, which is July 19th, 2015. Even right out of the gate, though, this show seems to be on the right track because it's already got a ton of love. I've been seeing pictures and gifs and everything in between of it cropping up all over the place, which is actually originally why I decided to give this show a look. That's right, boys and girls. Today, we'll be talking about the one, the only, Himoto Umaru-chan. Himoto Umaru-chan is based off of the manga that goes by the same name. The manga came out in 2013 and is still going to this very day, but on July 8th, 2015, Doga Kobo released the first episode of the anime television series adaptation. So, what's this show all about, you're probably asking? Well, it's pretty simple. It's a slice-of-life comedy about a cute anime girl doing cute anime girl things. That really is just about all there is to it. Our title character, Umaru, is the perfect high school girl. She's beautiful, top of her class, athletic, sociable, everything I'm not, and is pretty much excellent in everything she does. But that's just on the outside. On the inside, when there aren't any people around to judge her, she transforms into her true self. A lazy, junk food eating, anime watching, manga reading, introvert shut in. Basically, just imagine Tomoko, but like kind of in reverse, if that makes any sense. In her outside form, she's drawn as a cutie anime babe, but in her true form, she's depicted as a tiny, hyper kawaii chibi version of her other self. She lives in an apartment with her older brother who has a job to keep them both afloat. He's the kind hearted, methodical counterpart to his lazy, demanding sister. And yeah, there's also a handful of side characters such as Ebina, Umaru's best friend, and Tachibana, I hope I'm pronouncing that one right, I know I'm not though, Umaru's rival, but considering there have only been two episodes so far, we still don't really know a lot about them. Sure, if you've read the manga, you probably know these characters pretty damn well, but we aren't talking about the manga, so please, hold your comments. So now I guess I'll just kind of launch into what I think about this show so far, and I can honestly say that I like it. The characters are good and interact with each other well, the comedy and antics of Umaru are relatable, character design looks nice, hell, the whole show looks nice, and overall I think it's pretty well polished. None of the musical pieces have really caught my attention yet, but it's still good and does what it needs to do. As I said before, it really does remind me of Watamote, except instead of being hilariously depressing, it's hilariously upbeat. Oh, and another great thing I love about this show is that it keeps all the titillating fan service down to a minimum, and that is something I really hope they continue to do. Personally, I can't stand fan service. Like, at all. If I wanted to go ogle sexy anime babes, I'd be off watching hentai, not an actual show. So again, let's try to keep this video short, sweet, and to the point. Himoto Umaru-chan is a fun, upbeat slice of light comedy starring a cutie anime girl. If that sounds like something you would be into, I strongly suggest checking it out. Now, I really don't want to jump the gun here, but if the quality continues to stay this high for the rest of this series, it is possible that we might have a classic on our hands. I suppose only time will tell, but for right now, I'm just looking forward to seeing where exactly this series is going to take us. Thank you all for watching, this is Ouija the God, and I will see you all next time.